Welcome to the Office Mix slide recording tutorial. Step 1. Create and name your PowerPoint file online. Start by logging into Office 365 with your school email and password. Next, click on your waffle and select your cloud storage, which is OneDrive. In OneDrive, select the new button at the top and then select PowerPoint presentation. In order to distinguish this file on our OneDrive, we're going to start by renaming the file by selecting and typing over the word presentation located here at the top of your screen in the black bar. Give your project a specific title. Office Mix is only available in the desktop version of PowerPoint and it is not available in PowerPoint Online. To open up a PowerPoint Online file in the desktop version of PowerPoint, Click here, the Edit in PowerPoint button at the top of your screen. Be patient as your file opens. When prompted, sign in with your school email and password and click the Sign In button. To insert your photos in PowerPoint, go to the Insert tab and click on Online Pictures. A Bing image search pop-up window will open. Use filter drop-downs at the top to search for your image subject. Do not waste time doing a Google image search when you can quickly find images within PowerPoint. Step 2. Recording your slides. Before recording, you will want to copy and paste your script into the notes section of each slide so that you can read it as you record. Under the View tab, click on the Notes button to reveal the notes section below each slide. You can also show or hide the notes section from the bottom toolbar in PowerPoint. Here you'll see my script in the notes section below this slide. To begin, make sure you're in the PowerPoint Mix ribbon and select the slide recording button in the far left corner. This will launch record mode. At the top of the screen, you have your recording controls. On the right side of the screen, you have your audio and video panel and inking controls. Here's a more detailed overview. Start in the upper left hand corner, you have your record and stop recording buttons. Next, you have your slide navigation buttons, which will allow you to go to the next slide and continue on recording. To hear any slide recording, click the preview slide recording button. If you'd like to get rid of a recording, you can use the delete slide recording button. Make sure your slide notes button is highlighted so that your notes appear here and you can read off of them as a teleprompter as you're recording. To exit record mode, click the close button in the upper right hand corner. Before you start recording, you're going to select your audio input from here. Here at school, we use Plantronics headphones, so you can look for the name Plantronics there. And then you have your recording volume slider here. I suggest you put it somewhere in the middle when you're recording, but you can adjust and play with that as you record. If you would like to use any inking tools, here you can select from three different thicknesses, as well as a color for your ink. To begin an audio recording and mix, first select your audio input from the drop-down menu here. Next, record a quick test recording to ensure proper volume and sound quality. Play back your recording by selecting the Preview Slide Recording button here. After you've made any needed adjustments to your audio quality, delete the test recording by selecting the Delete Slide Recording button here. You are now ready to begin recording audio. During recording, you can either pause or stop your recording at any time. Step 3. Save and share your project. To save your Office Mix file as a video, click the Export to Video button under the Mix tab. Select Full HD and click Next. Choose a location to save your file, I'm going to save mine to my desktop, and give your project a name. Click the Save button, and you'll see down at the bottom of my screen here, this is my progress bar. You can watch as the video progress bar moves across, it may take a few minutes depending on the number of slides and how many recordings you have. Once your Office Mix project is done saving as a video, go to your OneDrive, select the Upload button, and choose Files. Next you're going to follow, find your video file, which you saved, and it should be an MP4 project. 
So here I'm going to click on the file. If I hover over it, I see it is an MP4 file, and I'm going to click open. Here you'll see that my video uploaded one file. If I modify by the date, excuse me, if I sort by the date modified, I can see here is my project and is a .mp4 file. From here I can select the file, I can share it with my teacher if I wish, or I can get a link to share with my teacher as well. Here if I create the link, I can copy the link and then paste that either in a OneNote notebook or an email to my teacher. To submit my link via OneNote, first find your class notebook and then find your name in the left sidebar. Next choose the correct section which your teacher has told you and create a new page and give the page a title that's the name of your project. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click anywhere on the page and I'm just going to write link to project. You can also simply just paste the link that you just copied. I'm going to make it nice and clean so I'm going to write a short sentence like link to project. I'm going to right click on what I just wrote and select link. In here I can control V to paste in my link and say insert and there I have my link to my project. If I click on it it should open up to my video which it does.